Hi, and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to be looking at Pano 2 VR version 5 and skin editor variables. Variables are placeholders where we can store information and then we can use the um, set variable value action to change this information. Now, working with logic blocks, we can do things like change skin color or change skin themes, um, change um, languages. We can do various other little jobs with these. So they're very, very powerful. Now, there's three types. We have the Boolean, which is the um, either true or false type variable. We also, we also have a text variable and we also have numbered variables. Now, what I want to show you in this video is to use the text variable to change the language of a skin. Now, this can be done with other variables, but the text variable lends itself to this action because we can use things like EN and DE to identify different languages. OK, and just to show you what I mean, if I double click in the um, panorama, you can see that when I hover over the toggle hotspot buttons, so as to hide it and, and show it, uh, you'll see that it's written in English. If I click the German button, you'll see there it's in German. And when I click the Japanese button, it's in Japanese. So how do we do this? Right, well, first thing we need to do then is open up Pano 2 VR and the skin editor. And what I've got here already, I've got three text boxes that I've set with the uh, relevant languages. But what I want to do is add the variable to the skin. And the way we do that is click on the blank area of the skin canvas. And then you can see under variables, I've already got one selected, but I'm going to double click and add another. And I'm going to call it Lang because we're going to be changing the language. And then for under type, as I say, we've got three, so I'm going to use text. And then the initial value, I'm going to use EN because I want my initial value to be English. OK, so that's the variable set. And what I need to do now is go to the hotspot or the, rather the text box that's going to be displaying the text. Now, as you can see under text, I've got nothing selected. However, what I'm going to do is click the, uh, click the logic block and I'm going to use the logic block to set the text. So under trigger, let's double click and open this up. I'm going to select my variable. So when lang equals en, I want this text box to display the following text, which is toggle hotspot. There you go. Right, so I'm now going to add another logic block and do the same thing, select lang, and this time around, the value is going to be DE. Now, I don't speak German, so what I've got is a uh, text file here that I'm just going to copy the text from, and let's go back to Pano2VR and paste that in. There we go. I'm going to add a third logic block, and this time around, I'm going to add lang equals JP. And again, what I'm going to do is just go back to my text and copy and go back and paste it into the text box. There we go. Job done. Right. What I need to do now then is then add the actions to select which language I want with the buttons. So if we uh, select English and scroll down, what we need to do is give it the source of mouse click. The action is going to be set variable value and the variable name is lang and the variable value for the English one is en. So there we go. And what I'm going to do now is just copy this, then go to German, paste it into the German button, but I'm just going to double click it and change the value to DE. Click OK, go to the Japanese button, paste in the action, just open it up and just change the value to JP. OK, that's me done. If I now close this and save, let's publish out. What we should see now is that there is my um, panorama. There is the English EN language selected at default. And when I click German, it's in German. And when I cl click Japanese, it's in Japanese. There you go. That's how to use skin uh, editor variables and for changing language. Thanks for watching.